Hello there, Tashi. How the heck are you? I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and pop it over to the live scene. Did I unmute it? No, I did not. Unmute. Bam. We're going to be jumping back into Prometheus today. Fantastic. Last time, if you weren't here, we did upgrade a lot of our benches to the highest tech level because they did state that they're going to be making it so that way you don't need any of the older benches. So now having the top tier, tier benches are a little bit more important. They're also going to be changing a lot of stuff here in the next few weeks. So we're kind of doing some prep for that. With the changes to the spikes that we noticed on the last stream, we're going to be making some adjustments today and possibly even building a new base. So, there's a lot to do. Um, we're going to get some stuff cooking on today's stream, so that way we can build out the appropriate uh, building structures and then go from there. Uh, most of that's going to be making concrete and things like that. We're also going to be building some scoria brick. We also want to be able to um, hopefully carry over some of our decorative pieces and things like that. So there's going to be a lot going on uh, for the time being, however. Right now I'm trying to make... Trying to make a decision. So my uh, my small ant survived the wilds playthrough actually has done really well on the channel. Now the last episode that I had recorded came out today, and we were supposed to jump into Enshrouded, but um. I'm wanting to do a season two for that. Now, I might have to wait until after Enshrouded to do that, or we could attempt to live stream. Why does the audio seem so quiet? Because my headset was turned down, that's why. Also, we're still waiting for the audio to catch up. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. 
that early login audio. So what I'm uh, there's a couple things I'm considering with that. We can either start recording a second season now and just put it out, which a uh, little burnt out on the game, so it probably wouldn't be very exciting and not really up to the quality that I would like it to be. I kind of want to wait until after things like Enshrouded and stuff like that, give them some opportunities to make some patches. Uh, with the current way they have the game set up, it's kind of... They added so much grind into it. Or we can attempt to stream it, which might not be a bad idea. We can attempt to stream it starting tomorrow and see how that goes. Um... If it doesn't do good, then we'll just wait until after Enshrouded, maybe. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then, uh, go from there. Because I have Enshrouded, I have Sons of the Forest, I've got this Lightyear Frontier, we still got Pacific Drive. Um, we still got, uh, Nightingale once they get to the single player patch. We've got, um,. We've got a few things coming up here in August. There, no, actually here in about a week. We've got Once Human coming back out, which I'll be playing with my buddies Ralph Sims, assuming that his computer's operating. And then there's just so much other stuff going on. I think that's what we'll do: is we'll attempt to stream it tomorrow. And the day after that. So, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, so Wednesday, Thursday, I think we'll, we'll, we'll attempt to do some small lands playthrough on the channel. If, if it doesn't go well, that's fine. We'll hold off and just do a actual season two when it comes out. Either way, we've gotten a ton of new subs lately. And we've gotten... A ton of new views and a little bit more attention to the channel, which is fantastic. Really appreciate it. For anybody who's a returning sub or just considering doing a sub here while you're watching my stream, I do so appreciate you and hope you'll bear with me as I learn even more about this here YouTube game really enjoying myself we do mostly survival games here so uh, I also do reviews and stuff for random games if you are interested in my opinion on those so right now it looks like we're gonna need more steel so we can make some of this rebar stuff How are we doing on steel? We should get some more steel cooking. We need to put some stuff away. Oh, we got a queen bee that I never put in the box. So let's see, queen bee in. Regular bees in. There we go. Yeah. Our garden's doing pretty good, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's get into what we're doing today here. So, steel. What do we need for steel? We have a bunch of oxide in here, so that's good. We'll actually take some of that out and go put that away. So, we'll do iron and coal rather than charcoal, because the charcoal makes the gunpowder, correct? Yes. So, let's go get some regular coal. Just 
leave that wood in there so that way we can sleep whenever and it can keep making charcoal for us. Actually, let's pull out the charcoal. Let's get some iron. Only 78 from that. All right, well. Sleep so our power doesn't run out. That's another thing I want to make is some batteries. Okay, so what do we need to make the rebar? Probably a bit too much. Here we go. More silica, tree sap. Okay, get that steel going. What do we need for the scoria break? Just the scoria, and then we need to cook it. So what does a brick wall look like? Have we seen that yet?
we need power going to that and then we need water going to that Just a regular brick wall doesn't look too bad. So, concrete base, cement walls. Here's the other question. How do people make the round floors? Is there like triangle floors that we can make? I don't see one. They use pillars? Alright, well, let's test with that. Let's grab this. Let's grab some basic walls. And let's grab, let's see, some foundations. Uh, we just made some. We'll grab those. Yeah. All right. So, let's try this. Not that. I did not mean to press that twice. Whoops. All right. So then, deploy this like that, and I assume maybe not like that. Let's end that. So like that, probably don't need the other two, probably won't need the other two. I don't... I don't think that's how that's done. Um, hey, thank you so much for them, their subs. And we're getting so close, so close to that 500 goal. I thank you so much for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, so, hmm, 
Maybe we need ceilings instead of... Let's see. Because then... Haha! -ha! But that gives a lot of stability. You have to put a pillar in every angle? Oh. And then you just, you put ceilings up there on it, I assume. So we would need to put the base down under the water and then put these down connected to that and then put the ceilings on it at every single spot. Oh, oh I see. That's interesting, though. I mean, I wonder if I have the... I mean, I know I could do it. Do I have the fortitude to actually go through with it? That's the real question. I think if we put our mind to it, that's something that we could accomplish. really want to try so we need a basically a billion of those pillars and then we'll work on here's another concern let me try this let's see if it let's see if this breaks We'll see how this looks during the next storm. But, we'll put this here. We're just going to put this here for now. go get a couple other supplies more like patience yeah that's that's the word I was looking for uh, do I have the patience to to do something like that my gut tells me no but but I want to prove my gut wrong because we're waiting for new content anyway so this would give us something to do There's this. I need... There's an interior. Okay. okay. 
So we put an interior one underneath. Well, let's put the wood one or stone one on top first. And stone on top. Wood underneath. The question becomes: Does this interior floor get damaged in a storm? I assume it won't because it's covered by the stone roof. But realistically, it probably should still take damage. I want to see if it does. We'll wait and see what happens to that during the next storm. And in the meantime, we're going to keep making a bunch of uh, brick pillars. Okay, there's a bunch of that. Let's get some stone and some silica. Okay, that gives us a good bit of cement so we can make the concrete floors, or foundations rather. Hello there, Wilbur. That's your new name. Wilbur the fish. The, the what kind of fish are you? You're dying, so it doesn't matter. I wonder if we salt you if you'll last longer. Can we salt a raw fish? Let's see. Your nose is sticking out of the tank. Put that nose back in there. Put it back in. Put it back in there. That's what I thought. Breaking my immersion over here. What's wrong with you? Okay, now I need more brick. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff cooking, and while we wait for that, um, let's figure out if there's any other benches that we need. Da 
the heck is a repair bench? I've never heard of or used a repair bench before. What the heck is this for? Like, that's what I mean. They... They add things into the game that doesn't make sense sometimes. Biofuel water pump. No, no, no thanks. No, that's, that's fine. That's how you fix your workshop gear? I thought you couldn't repair the workshop gear. Whatever, we'll make one just for the heck of it. Uh, 20 cured whatevers. So we need that, which means that we need tree sap. These other benches need to be hooked up. No, those are all good, good. We're good. Okay. Alright. Cured stuff and things over here. Oh, that's right, you can do it with wax, too. And seed oil? No, we're not doing that. We're just going to use the sap. We only need 18. Let that cook. Um, it also needed stone, so let's grab some of that. thing of aluminum. Aluminium, as some of these people call it. Uh, bam. So we'll see if that piece of stuff broke out there right after this storm is done bam one repair bench oh it's fairly sizable isn't it I'll just stick it here for now Tier 4 and workbench items. So you can repair other things besides your workshop items.
Okay, cool. I don't have anything to test that on right now. But... Cool. So connected. That doesn't go to anything anymore. Get rid of that. We'll just make a new dot to that. And then to that. Do we need one for any of these other benches? We do for that. And but not to the storage. See what I mean? What a mess. I get this this is partly why I want to build that new base. How's the cleaner doing? Bam, a whole bunch more of that. Let's request this. And next time we're waiting for things to build, we'll go ahead and check our other exotics. Let's see. 100%. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so as long as this is covered by a roof, it won't take damage. Perfect. I like that. you guys manage to get entangled up like this? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that probably doesn't have a connector either, does it? Oh, it doesn't take a connector? Oh. It just takes biofuel. Well, we have an extra biofuel can. That doesn't take anything. That doesn't take anything. This just takes electric now. Biofuel. Bam. Cool. Yeah. like it. How's this doing? Good. 
That's done. Go ahead and make those. This buffalo out the way. They're all getting tangled up over here. Not you, Daisy. You're always good. Uh, the oxygen thing? Suppose we could. I mean, yeah, that's faster. For sure. a lot faster actually <laughs> it's pretty good I like it good deal and then this thing we can just dump that in air Insufficient water output. Urgh. We need more water? It's a water connection right now. Our supply is 3,000 and our demand is that, but we can't. What? What? That makes no sense. Those are both on and connected. Don't heck is this thing electric water purifier? It doesn't even show it on here. Hold on, disconnect that. Put this in there. Is this not connected? Is that?
Let's try disconnecting that. That wasn't connected somehow. That was the problem. Okay. Well. It's connected now. <sighs> Odd. Odd, I have to say. But uh, functioning now, so whatever. Okay, with that out the way, where where does that leave us? Um, that steel had already cooked. We got some more brick. Bunch more brick pillars. Some more cement going. We'll go try these out real quick. Figure out how much more we're going to need. Oh, it's going to be dark soon. All right. Well, let's look at batteries then. We need composite, which we have very little in here and very little in here. So we should make more of that. We should make a ton of it. Platinum ore, silica, and iron.
Oh, I needed that organic resin. There we go. Just make a ton of it because we're going to need it for repairs. We're going to need it for upgrades. We're going to need it down the road for other junk, I'm sure. Who knows? They might add something interesting into the game that we're going to need to make a lot of it for. You set of armor or something. Go. We'll toss that in there to cook next, just so that way we have it for when we're ready. We'll sleep and head out. Okay, Moa, you follow me, buddy, and we're going for a swim. I guess we can look for queen bees real quick. Nope. Just a little bee sting. You'll be fine. going the wrong way.
go. <laughs> Must look like a cave for a minute, like a, a crevice we could go down in. I don't know why, but... Hi, Moa. You concerned about me? I want to. I'd, I'd be more concerned about yourself at this point. If you drown, I'm just making drumsticks out of you. So maybe think about that. Gonna need a lot more. A lot more. No, I'm not gonna shoot you. Or am I? No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop this just for fun. Get out of here, you wood thing. Haha, -ha, burning underwater. <laughs> Just like, what? Okay. Bam, it's gone. Will you just stop? Good. We'll get this wrapped around the whole thing, and then we'll decide on what we're going to do from there. kind of feel like these things might need to be submerged, though. I don't know. Once we put the ceiling pieces on it, it'd be technically out of the water, and we could allow the animals to be down here in their own little penned-in area. And then we'll build a bridge, but kind of block it off with, like, railings and stuff. And we won't have the need for spikes except, well... We won't have the need for spikes. So that'd be good. Yeah, let's make some more of these and then we'll figure out how many uh, ceiling pieces we're gonna need to cover the rest of this. And then from there, we'll just put down all the pillars on the end pieces, I guess, unless we have to cover the entire bottom floor. Let's figure out how wide we want it first. Come here, you fish. It 
It's like the world's least graceful swan over here. Just so we're not traipsing back and forth with all these pillars, let me just set some down. Because we can always pick them back up. Whoopsie. Ugh, come up. Come on, go out this way. Up, 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 up. Yeah, that, that, that's one. I need you to go out this way. Whatever, we'll, we'll do it again. We're just trying to get him set down for now, so that way we can. So that way we don't have to transport stuff back and forth. There. Good. They're there. That's a start. We can see that we're going to need a lot more pillars. We're going to need a lot more cement. We're going to need a lot of brick. So we got things to do. But we'll go back, we'll make some batteries and things like that, so. And then we'll go from there. Hmm. 
Low food. That's the last of our cooked bacon. We'll eat up the rest of those, um... What are they called? We have some, uh, squash in there. Alright, Moa, we'll walk him back. Because we've still got animals to take off of our list. Bam! We're at 1,500 out of 12, or out of 2,000 for those. Three seventy-eight out of two thousand. We're done on horses. I already know that. But yeah, we'll kill a couple animals on the way back. Keep working on those achievements and stuff too. One hundred and sixty eight out of one thousand one hundred. Twelve hundred out of fifteen hundred. We're getting close on the boar. I was kind of hoping baby deer respond or baby uh, uh, bear cubs. There's a boar. Uh, 560 out of a thousand on those. Yeah, I don't see the bear at all. Alright. Keep moving. Okay, that hurt a little bit more than I was expecting. Where did my MOA go? The MOA seen me jump off of there and broke my legs, and it's like, nah, I'm going around. <laughs> There's no way am I jumping off of that. <laughs>
Why does my MOA keep... You are creepy! Okay. Like... Stop it. Don't give me that look! Yeah, something like that. Wow, that did nothing. It doesn't look like the red exotics respawned yet. So what I'm noticing with the that food symbol. Now where did you go, Moa? Um, what I'm noticing with that food symbol is it seems like creatures that you've injured or that are injured are what show up um, as the food symbol. Because see, like, this boar doesn't. I want to see... Ah, I wanted to see if it would show up. Hey, I need to test something. There, now you're injured. Let's see if it shows up. You need to not be spooked. Settle down. I'm wrong. I have no idea what the heck. It, it's so random. I don't I have no idea then. I thought it was just showing me injured animals. There we go. Our first bonus from that. Hey, hey, look. See, some of them have a food symbol. Isn't it the bestiary? Maybe?
to prize. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I'm not seeing very many. But yeah, I think we still have a ton of melee kills that we need to get. Let's see. Yeah, 10,000. Once we reach the 10,000 with the bow, we're going to switch off and only use firearms for a while. At least on this map. Is that too low or too high? Too high. Alright, well, we got him. Stop moving. Rock is blocking it now. Come on. Oh dear. Ah, missed a headshot. Um Any other animals out there we can take out? Slowly but surely, we'll get these things done. We're just sort of having a nice relaxing time here in Icarus until they actually put out some more content that's worthwhile to deer. Because we're finished with the regular missions. Um, we have bosses and stuff to work on, but at this point, they're kind of a joke. Challenge. Even on hard mode. Are you stuck? How are you stuck right there? Let's go, buddy. Get those melee kills. <laughs> Sorry, was that yours? My bad. Go for the MOA. What's wrong with you? Huh. So 
Something with a food symbol. What was that? Oh. It was a U for some reason. That, no. I don't believe you, game. Almost didn't make it. These foods to make, we've got fishing things to do. Those to kill. Bestiary stuff. The ones for the achievement aren't in this map, so we'll have to go back to the other two maps to get these ones. Only the zebra we will need to go back for. Arms we can do, oh, polar bear cub? Where are we gonna find polar bear cubs? We have, there's probably a specific mission we have to do for those. The food one is almost done by me. Uh, mine's about half done, I suppose. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a third done. Um, the food one doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult, especially if you have a garden that has all the things. <laughs> I thought I heard another deer. I also hear Daisy over there complaining. Okay, let's go make two more batteries. Yes. 
titanium plate. We're going to need 16 of those and then a bunch of electronics. We have the electronics. Titanium plate. 16. That's going to make a or take a few minutes to do. That's okay. Um in the meantime, let's repair our gear, I suppose. Got some bees. Drop off some more bees. Oh, were you still following me, Moa? I'm sorry, buddy. Hold on. Here, do your thing. We'll take a nap and then maybe go grab some blue exotics, uh, or purple exotics after this. Then we can take a trip out to the volcanic region maybe and grab up some of that stuff out there too. And then that'll give us a good head start for next week. Hopefully once all four of these are up and operational, overnight we'll have enough power to not have to sleep through the night anymore in order to keep the lights on at any rate. But there are always other options. There we go. Good morning. Nice relaxing day in Icarus. That's what I like. And if we can get our power supply issues under control, we'll eventually replace all of these with the powered ones. That's another goal of mine. 
Which, how many do we have in here? Forty-eight, I think. One hundred and sixty composite. So we need to make a t on more composite. So what are we missing to make some more? We need more iron. So we should go get some more raw iron. Because we will eventually need to make arrows, too. There's a powered one for, for planters? Yes. The, the tier four plots take electricity and water. Um, they take like 15 electricity and they'll, uh, they grow ridiculously fast. Especially if you keep them in good fertilizer and whatnot. And if you have the uh, all the perks, from what I understand, you could get two to three harvests from one crop plot a day. Not just once a day. Three times a day, you could have a full harvest. So you could plant your red exotics and have, have them burn them. One seed burn itself out in a single day. I haven't seen those. Yeah, I've never used them myself. So it's going to be interesting to check them out. But right now we're cooking the composite to do so. So, you know, we'll see what they look like here. Hopefully before the end of the stream. Go, we'll save some of that in there. So what else other than composite did we need for those? Oh, it's a hundred. I had it backwards. It's a hundred power. And 15 water. 
Um, uh, Nine hundred, nine hundred, <laughs> fourteen hundred, eight, oh, four hundred and eighty electronics. <laughs> Hydroponic. So if we go into here, let's see. What does it say about the hydroponic? An advanced option for busy farmers. Supplies you know, both power and water network. To increase crop growth speed. Fully grown crops left long enough weather only provides spoiled plants. Blah, 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 blah. How about no? You're right. That's a lot. That's a lot. Would like to see one and test out the difference to see if it's even even worth it. But we need a ton of composite anyway, so not exactly a bad thing. At any rate, I am going to quickly take a break. I had some major heartburn going on. I want to go get me some of them chalk tablets, whatever the heck they're called. Them Tums or whatever. They're basically, I, I guess they're calcium tablets just to settle your stomach. Maybe grab myself a glass of milk or something. But... I will be back momentarily. I apologize. Um, if you're enjoying the content, make sure that you do the subs and all that stuff. Remember that tomorrow we're going to try to do some small lands content here on the channel. Uh, if that goes well during our stream, we'll do a second stream of it. And we'll continue to have small lands on the channel. If not, we're going to come back with a second season of it anyway at some point. Uh, but there's so many new survival games out there that we're going to be pushing forward with a ton of that. Uh, if you're heading out, I would really appreciate if you'd consider doing the sub thing. We're getting so close to 500. And I would absolutely love to have more options on here for the viewers. And yeah, it would give us that much closer towards 1,000. I cannot wait. I'm really hoping we can get there by the end of the year. At any rate, give me just a moment. I apologize. We will be back really quickly.
Okay, I apologize. We are back and ready to go. So, let's see. Do we have enough to make at least one of those plots real quick? We should with all of that. Uh, oh, we need steel. Yes, we can make at least one. So, we're going to try this out. So, let's see. Why don't we try it on the carrots? Because I can always use carrots. Pick that up. Pick that up. And then deploy this one fresh. Deploy this one. There we go. This looks interesting. And then we need to. Oh god. Oh god. All right. Um. Connect that. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Yeah, that's a mess. That's a mess. I, uh, oh, uh, whatever. Power from there to there. And then we'll fertilizer. lag at my base now with all this extra stuff going on. That. Fertilizer. That. And then... Oh. Seeds. Bam. So, carrot seed. Carrot seed. And... Did I put a tool in a composter? Did I? No. Doesn't look like it. But it really wouldn't surprise me if I did there, Jimmy. It's one of those things that I've been known to do. Just blindly click buttons. The other thing I wanted to do is move these and just put in more solar panels.
That must have gotten hit by lightning or something. I don't know why that was damaged. Scanner took damage? Alright, well, fixed. You think I need to turn the new one on? It's at optimal efficiency. It's on. Looks like it's on by default. Okay, back to making these things. We're gonna need more rebar. Let's do another 25. Why not? Give us another thing of steel screws. Bam. Go ahead and make up another 12 of those. Good, our pillar's finished. Making progress here. Because we're going to need this gate. Probably end up using these. We should work on that bridge next. for the bridge maybe maybe make up some more brick Ooh, we have more brick good and then brick floors we'll see how far 25 gets us And we can get some more brick cooking. Very nice. Any noticeable changes over here yet? Not really. Alright, well, we'll keep an eye on it. See which one... How did the beehive take damage? I must have punched it or something on accident. Yeah, whatever. We're good. Almost full up on wax. Honey's getting there. And the honeycomb is getting close too. We might need to go and grab some more clay at some point. I 
Here we go. Let's grab this stuff. Head back over there and see about building this bridge. In between working on whatever updates that they come out with, we'll continue to work on this new base and we'll get some technology upgrades, build out any of the new tech that they introduce. Um, I really hope that they manage to find the funding that they seem like they are needing so that way they can continue to put out new content and continue to make adjustments. Some of the things that we noticed last stream um, that were a little bit irksome were... I'm hoping that they roll back, but... I don't know. It's their game. They can do it however they want, to be fair. At the same time... It doesn't prevent me from wanting to see a couple changes. Any baby bears or mama bears out here right now? No. Okay. Keep an eye out for a couple creatures that we need to take out for these uh, achievements and whatnot. We'll do that on the way back because we got, uh, we're a little bit heavy right now. See what we can do with this. I need to set you to follow, buddy. probably get our melee kills pretty quickly if we just sat here and killed fish all day. But that's not something I want to do. That doesn't sound like fun to me. We could go just hang out in the Arctic and get our melee kills that way if we really wanted. Hop. Bam. Okay. Moa, you wait here. Don't go back in the water. We both know you can't swim very good. As much as I love your face, I have to be honest with you. Your swimming skills are 
something to be desired. So six by six seems to be our floor plan here. I don't feel like that was worth it, because now you're fish food, buddy. If we make it... Rather than six by six, if we make it... Seven by seven... We would have... Oh, you jerk. We would have a designated center. With a laser? I mean, I don't think so. Considering there's no lasers. Although, having any kind of Animal with some lasers on their frickin' heads would be pretty cool. All I want is moas with laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. That would be, that'd be awesome. So we need nine, let's see, we need these six, yeah, we need another nine floors, come here you little fish, stop it. And then we'll call that good. And right here would be the center. So then we go out that way. From here. Okay. There's where we need to put the pillars. So we're going to need pillars here. Come on, out the water. There you go.
here. That reaches the ground. Perfect. That one's going to break if I leave it. Seems like every three. So there. Get back and sleep. This is getting dark, buddy. Oops. Give me that one. Will you knock it off? A oh, bad fish. Bad. there's a lightning storm while we're in the middle of the water that's uh that's real good just for some extra stability just in case we will put the furthest corners with some pillars too See, blue means that they're touching the ground. So these are directly linked to the to the ground for support. Jeremy, oh my god, it's so good to hear from you, buddy. I was beginning to get worried. How the heck are you feeling? An induced coma? Wow. How long were you out, if you don't mind me asking? 
it, you don't have to answer any of these questions. I just... Well, I knew you were having problems with the kidneys. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Wow. Almost two weeks. Jeez. I'm so sorry to hear that. I was really hoping that you were doing better. Man. It's recovering now? So your... Your kidneys are recovering? That That's good. I'm glad to hear that at least. getting better. Oh my god. I am so glad to hear that. That's still such a scary situation. I... Oh, I'm so glad to hear from you either way. Had a stint put in. I mean... If it does what it's supposed to do, then that's great. Uh, I'm glad that you're getting the care that you need. Forgive me, and you, you don't have to answer this. I'm fairly certain you told me how, how old you were at one point, Jeremy. Um, I'm wondering, I, I'm curious to the number. You don't, again, you don't have to answer. 47. Okay. I, I don't know why, but I thought you, I thought you were much older than that. I, it may have been another viewer that I was talking to about it. But, yeah. Even at 47, that seems like, uh, that seems like you're getting the short end of it if, uh, if you're having all this happen. I know my father was 54 when he passed. Um, and, and his issue was uh, heart failure, though, it wasn't, uh, wasn't kidney issues, obviously. But I guess you can get sick at any age, that doesn't... Illnesses don't seem to discriminate in that regard. Man. I'm so glad to hear that things are slowly getting better for you, but I... Oh, man, Jeremy, I was, I was honest, I'm honestly glad to hear from you. So, thank you for stopping in. wife was slightly older than you are, huh? Still, 49 and 47, that's pretty close. Ronnie! Buddy, pal, friend! How the heck are you? Did you watch the most recent uh, video of uh, what, what is it called? The uh, for, With me and Ralph? Where we were doing uh, Sons of the Forest. If you haven't, make sure you go watch that video. Go to about the 20 minute mark and watch me try to kill him. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> also, Ronnie, out of curiosity, are you... Are you and uh, Ralph planning on joining me for Once Human on the 3rd? Because I'm going to be streaming some of it. I'm going to be recording a bunch of it for my YouTube channel. It'd be great to have a bunch of other YouTubers and streamers get a big group of us going and just roll through that game together.
Is it still playable? No. They're doing another playtest here on the 3rd of next month. So, really soon they're going to start up another one. Yeah, 100%. We need to talk Ralph into coming along for the ride. Because that game's gotten a lot of really good views on my channel. And people seem to really like it. So I want to push forward on that. And see if we can't get a bunch of people together. Um, but yeah, back to what we're doing here. So we managed to get a partial walkway up there what i'd like to do is have four walkways so we need to make a ton more pillars we're gonna need nine more of the concrete floors we're gonna need um we're gonna have to make a couple different floors actually Stationers. So I've seen that Stationers game, but I've never played it myself. Um, from what I understand, it's pretty popular. The other thing that I, I well, you've probably haven't heard of it because you've been in the hospital for a while. But if you, not if, let, let, let me rephrase: when you get out of that hospital and you're doing better. I would definitely recommend checking out Lightyear Frontier. That's a pretty good one. I have a lot of faith that you're going to get through this ordeal and come out on the other end of it stronger there, Jeremy. So you just hang in there and keep in touch. is new haven't heard of it yeah it, it's it's one of those cozy games kind of like uh planet uh that planet crafter i was playing on my channel and it, it's you know you go in you build build a few things make the environment livable for humans type deal um couldn't figure out Icarus. I, it sounded like Station Ears it, that his brother couldn't figure out. At least from what I understood. So let's see. Are the carrots done? They both finished while I was away. So we're going to have to wait. Minus 10%. Minus 10%. The tutorial doesn't work. Ooh. Odd. Well, I mean, if there's a tutorial bug, there's not much you're doing about that. Here, let me turn this gamma back down. Okay, so do we have more cement in here? We don't. Let's get some more silica. Also, I'm going to try not to sleep. I want to see if our power supply holds out. What is it looking like right now? It's already halfway down. Mm, it probably won't. Yeah, it probably won't. We, we're probably going to have to double the power supply storage again. So what's new on updates? Oh, I would definitely recommend checking out Late Night Stream, a.k.a. Josh. Uh, it, oh. it, there, was some, there was some bad updates 
lately. There were some good ones, but there were some bad ones. So they did an update where they had they added new ways to collect water. Um, so you can get these new water containers here. Um, and that will allow you to store water. You, I don't know if you've seen this thing. So it, it measures all of the power in your base and your water storage. And then they added in the battery update. Um, and then they added in... Ooh, how did that get damaged? When it was in testing? Yeah. So the, the batteries are out now. They work really well. I like the battery update. Um, they also added in new water purification methods. And if you take your water and fill it up at a purification thing, it gives you a bonus like... This one's giving me extra stamina, or less stamina consumed and less water consumed by doing stuff. Um, and with my perks, now I have infinite stamina, which is cool. Uh, so that was one good update. The bad updates are the fire axe doesn't give you charcoal anymore, instead it gives you regular coal. Buffs on purification, yeah. If you drink dirty water now, it actually debuffs you, so don't drink out of lakes anymore. Um, they made the spikes significantly weaker, and the spikes take a ton of damage. So if you can see there, the durability is dropping ridiculously fast. So the spikes are all but useless anymore. They added in these little bramble bushes here that slow creatures down as they walk through, but they take a lot of damage really quickly as well. Um, the cow chops basically destroy themselves instantly. It's like, spikes are pretty useless now. Um, there was a couple other ones that were a little bit irksome. So if you seen the update to the windmills or not but windmills and stuff while storms are going on will take damage and as they take damage the power efficiency will drop so as you can see it's taking enough damage to lose five percent of its energy it can only hold a total capacity of 1663 right now instead of 1750 so Ugh, they added a ton more maintenance into the game. And then... One thing that they did do that was nice... It's a lot of work on storms with turbines, yeah. So, I don't know if you've seen Josh's... Uh, wind turbine tree that he has at his base where it's just basically a pillar that goes up several floors with platforms coming out on it where you can just set the wind turbines so that way they don't so that way they, they'll operate and be away from each other well now you have to build a ladder system so that way you can get up that tree to repair each and every one of them like it's uh, they added a lot of maintenance. They did add... <clears throat> sorry. They did add one good thing. Whenever you put stuff into your smelters... And it finishes cooking, it will automatically turn off. And you don't have to sit there and maintain those anymore, which is nice. So, like, I put this in here and activate it. It will start going whenever there's nothing in here. It turns off by itself, which is nice. And they're currently working on an update right now that's going to 
make all of the highest tier benches be able to use all of the lowest tier benches crafting recipes. So you won't need this low tier workbench and the machine bench. You'll only need a fabricator for now on. Um, that update's not out yet, but it would be nice. I, I am looking forward to that update. So that way I can get rid of a whole bunch of these old benches. So what I've been working on is just building out all of the top tier benches. Both of their weeds from the swamp biome, yes. And you can get the brambles on any map. So even if you're not on Prometheus, you can get these plants. All you need is a shovel to dig a little hole and then you can plant the seeds that you buy from the shop. Um, if you are on Prometheus, you don't need to buy the seeds. You can go to the swamp and get the seeds yourself. But the, seed, the, the plants don't live for very long after they've been hit by a creature. So you're going to need to replant those a lot, unfortunately. The brambles, luckily though, they don't injure the player. Like, I have some brambles in here, and they don't hurt me at all. And I can come in here and gather up some, and take the seeds and replant them. If I could hit them. There we go. And then I used my little shovel to dig little holes here. And we can take these plants. Put them in. You can't put them in here? Colliding. Oh. That sounds like fake news. Give me that. Oh, do you not need... You don't need, you don't need the holes anymore. Oh, that's what's going on. They changed it so you don't need the holes anymore. Oh, okay, cool. We'll remove those dug holes then. They still don't do much for defense, so that's, that's still a thing. A lot of catching up to do. Listen, I have faith that you will be out of that hospital in no time and be able and you'll catch up quickly. And if you're having a hard time getting caught up, I would like you to reach out to me and I could come hang out with you to help you get caught up. As a thank you for being awesome and showing up to my stream as much as you have. Yeah, see, there you go. Tashi says so as well. The three of us could get together and do some stuff. Get you caught up. just wanted to... I forgot. Uh, 
Uh, they keep they keep teasing the fact that they're still working on it, but that's all they'll say for the time being, as far as new biomes and stuff. Um, they did give it to give the new biomes names, but I don't recall off the top of my head which ones they are yet. You say Tashi believes that their place is boring, huh? I don't know. I think my place is pretty boring. It's just an A-frame house. I'm noticing something. The power hasn't gone out yet. What does our reserve power look like? Maybe just one or two more of those, just in case we use a lot of power. Mine is just a long square. Yeah, that's that's what uh, that's basically what mine is in uh, in sticks. Yeah, in case we use a lot of power, I think if we got at least one more battery bank, we'd be good to go. So why don't we make one more battery bank? We still got a half hour left in the stream. Let's get this cement cooking first. I got a little bit distracted. Um, and get some more brick going. Empty our inventory. Jeez. Yeah, one more battery would get you through the night. Absolutely. Empty our inventory. Maybe we'll need some of the stuff in here. So let's see. Batteries. No, we don't need steel. We're going to need plat uh, titanium plate. So we're going to need another five. Another one. Food. Oh, yeah, food. Electronics. Copper wire.
I make a bunch of that up. Bramble seed. Oh, Daisy, quit moaning. You're fine. You know what we haven't taken in a while is a simple mission either. Be nice to get some more. Uh, what are whatever they called? Hunt. There you go. Locate an abandoned base. We'll get some free beacons. Oh, yeah, the deep vein the deep veins are unlimited again. They did they did fix that. go make a bunch of those a dog crawled out from under my desk and I must rip my headphones out of my head Yeah, there's been there's been a lot of uh, a lot of things you could nitpick what they've been doing, but uh, I don't know. I have faith that they'll listen to their community and hopefully revert some of the things that have been slightly more annoying. Okay, we got our electronics, it sounds like. Yes, perfect. Copper wire, gold wire. battery bank. wires what a 
a mess. All right. Those will hopefully keep us well electric. A lightning rod. Yeah. Honestly, when I heard them talking about the battery update, I thought that that was going to be something that was added. Just put some lightning rods out at your base and and be able to gather up some electricity that way. But it doesn't seem like it went that direction. I like this thing. I do. I like it. I mean, I wonder if this other creatures. What time is it? We have 15 minutes. Why don't we do one last run out towards the other base, put down this stuff, and then we'll do some more next time. Um, there's supposed to be a decent size update coming up. Um, as a reminder though, uh, Small Land Survive the Wilds has done really well on my channel recently. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the videos did nearly 1700 views in my tiny channel. So that's really, really good. Um, and so I want to try streaming it here tomorrow and the following day and if it does well we'll continue that as a weekly thing um congrats thank you um and we're gonna go if it doesn't do well in a streaming format we'll just start a season two playthrough uh, as soon as I have the opportunity. Right now, um, I've already got a ton of Enshrouded uploaded and set to come out. And a bunch of this Lightyear Frontier is currently in the process of being edited. Plus, we have Nightingale that came out recently. We have Once Human that's about to go back in the beta. We've got another... Um, we've got... Uh, what was it called? Pacific Drive... We've got uh, Seven Days to Die Alpha 22s coming up soon. Like so many survival games. Plus there's more coming up soon this year that I'm really interested in. Including like Abiotic Factor. Like there's so many good survival games that are on the horizon right now that I need to find time to do that. Not to mention that Sons of the Forest also came out with a 1.0 this year. And Grounded is about to get another huge update that actually looks like something I might want to jump into. So, like, plenty of awesome content coming out on the channel soon. Long story short, I want to get another... Um, I want to get more small lands on the channel... And we're going to try it in a streaming format. If it doesn't work, then in a month or two, we'll go ahead and put out a season two of Small Lands. Uh, just because it, it that's just the, unfortunately the way it's falling because I already have a bunch of stuff uploaded. Hopefully the streaming format works for it. And uh, yeah, 
If not, we'll just start recording a season two and put it out whenever I have room for it. There's <laughs> just so much coming out right now. Um, to all the new subs or anybody who's watching back to this point, I appreciate you. I would so appreciate if you would consider doing the sub thing if, you know, you don't feel I've earned it here today. Maybe stop back out again either tomorrow or next week. Sunday and Mondays we do Icarus, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we're going to try to do two days of Small Ants by the Wilds after that. Like, we're doing a lot of stuff here. I really want to push as hard as I can to try to get that 1K this year. I would just be ever so grateful to even hit that 500 mark. And we're looking really good so far this year. Oh, man. And now... That we're back here. We're about to finish off this bridge. Bam. Let's go ahead and... Looks like there's... That. Doggo. We're at 1955 out of 2200, so we're getting there on doggos. Bam! There's another one. And another one. And it looked like there was another one behind that rock there. Where are you at, puppy dog? Shouldn't have said anything, buddy. I'd have never found you. Should definitely try to take care of this thing. Excellent. Those are rare to see. Oh, I didn't look at the numbers. Rip. Him. Howdy, bird. Horse. Making a lot of progress on this bestiary. But... Man, does it take a long time. Every opportunity we get to take out something that is on our list, we'll go ahead and do so. Slowly but surely. Come on, Moa. I know it was over here kicking you. Don't worry, buddy. Here, we'll take you out here away from the mean old horses. There you go. Hang out.
go. Whoops, I don't know where that one went. Progress. Moa's over there, very unhappy that we're swimming away. That's okay. It'll live. Bam. Um, yeah, out of resources. For now, we can always build more. Why do I hear doggos? There's doggos on my bridge! No doggo. It's a bad doggo. Definitely going to have to put gates up to block them from coming over there. It's not a good situation. We're going to have them over here eating our animals. You're not on follow, are you? Ugh. Hold on. Grab our animal and make our way back to base. There you go. We're walking it, Moa. I want to shoot a bunch of creatures on our way back. Work on that bestiary. Bam! Got him. Heard some bacon. That's a goat. the hip. Sorry, buddy. Too high. Oh, got him. <laughs> Poor goat. Scared the crap out of him. He was gone. More bacon? Where's bacon? Bacon! Oh. 
How are we doing on Moa? Eh, we only need we need less than five hundred. That's pretty good. We'll keep on working on them. With this new water perk, I have infinite stamina, so I can just jump around and do whatever I want. I guarantee they nerf it at some point. Which would be sad. Haha! Made a lot of bestiary progress while we were doing all this stuff, too. Oh, we have a long way to go on those rabbits. Oh, I'm going to reach him. Check one more time for baby bears. No. Seems like that bear takes forever to respawn. It's like every time I load up the game, that's when it respawns. How are you still alive, Piggy? Aha! Got him. Yeah, it's just not going to spawn. Deer spawned. We'll take that. Oh, I heard another one. Doesn't matter. Back towards base. Hi, buddy. All right, come on, Moa. Let's get you. 
back to where you belong. There we go. Right down the roof. Right over here. Bam. There you go. Stay there. Let's get this buffalo out of the way. Again. Ooh, they're all hungry. Let's resolve that issue. Moa! No! Eat up. Okay. And there he has it. We are done for the day. Bam. Well, thank you everybody so much for stopping out. I greatly appreciate you. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content and you'll consider coming back out again tomorrow for Small Land Survive the Wilds and then the following day as well. But before you go, make sure that you get down there, check out the media links, consider leaving a sub, all them likes, and maybe share out some of your favorite content. Check out some of the other stuff we have available on the channel. But, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.